Hey everybody, this is Perch. I've got a question here. It's an interesting question. Um, I, I'm going to give you the, the straight, honest answer, um, and we'll see what uh, we'll see what comes of that. So, anyway, uh, here goes the viewer mail. The viewer mail says, "Hey Perch, love your show. Love that you make so many videos. It gives me a lot to listen to. I admit I haven't begun to listen to all the videos that you've made, and to be honest, I never will listen to all the videos you've made. You've made too many." You seem to talk about just about everything, but you more or less stay to comics. Are there any topics that are off limits for you? And related, uh, and related to that, are there any topics that people have told you you can't talk about? Curious about the answers. Thanks for everything you do. Cool. Um, uh, good question. Well, I don't know. Good question. Uh, good, yeah, good question. I don't mean it that way. It sounds kind of dickish. Um, so, first off, um, I'm not limiting any of the topics I talk about other than kind of one criteria. If I've talked about it a lot, I typically don't try and go into it, you know, over and over and over again. I know uh, there's certainly some topics that have been covered quite frequently. I find myself talking about the diminishment of villains in comics a lot. It, uh, it It's high on my mind. Uh, but, uh, but generally, no, I think I talk about what I feel like I do try and, you know, self select into comics. There's definitely moments where I'd like to talk about finance, banking, kind of other aspects of the world that have nothing to do with comics. But I don't, I, I mean, like I stop myself short. This is, you know, you, you came for comics. I try and keep it as least loosely related to comics as I can. Uh, the other thing I don't do is if I am positive that the topic is going to create a lot of bullshit where nobody is going to be thinking about what they write, but they're just going to be complaining, kind of raging out, I find myself self-selecting out of those. And that's kind of a shame, to be honest. Uh, I, it, it bugs me that that's where it's at. But I admit that is, uh, there, there are several topics that come up like, oh, I'd like to talk about that. And I'm like, nah, if I do... You know, for example, one of the things I did, and I actually sank a bunch of work into it, uh, I started doing an analysis on crowdfunding. And in many parts, like how crowdfunding is working in terms of what campaigns are successful, you know, and, and because you see these these people making comments like, everybody who's doing crowdfunding is a millionaire. And it's like, well, no, you know, that's that's certainly not the case. You know, but what is the truth in it? What What is the, uh, where, where, where does crowdfunding work, not work? You know, what does the analysis tell you? Uh, the problem is, it is, uh, it is absolutely, and um, I'm sure I'll wind up doing it at some point anyway, it absolutely becomes a rage topic because there are some people who just do not want to hear anything but what they've been told. And what they've been told is that crowdfunding is making more money than any comic book publisher. It's the wave of the future, nothing else. And, and, and so it becomes this, nonsense topic. I admit I waited a long time to talk about ESGs for that same reason, because it, it is, there is a way you're supposed to think about ESGs. And that way is, you know, BlackRock is an evil, super woke, uh, you know, ultra liberal company. And that uh, if you're a comic company, all you have to do is put in some gay characters and the government will come around and just hand you money. Because that's, uh, that's how ESGs work. Of course, that's not at all how ESGs work. And Black, War, or Black Rock, by the way, is just, if you actually look into that company, it's, it's an amalgamation of a ton of different things. And no, they're not all using ESGs. And it's, anyway, anyway there, it's, it's these complicated topics, but they've been absolutely uh, wrecked by kind of the culture war. On the other end, by the way, if you would like to talk about kind of the nuance of non-binary versus bisexual, it, it, it just is going to, just, you're going to be handed all kinds of nonsense, tons of it, and uh, that it, it makes you tired. It makes you entirely tired, um, if, or at least me. I, I just I don't want to get in with a bunch of people who uh, do not, you know, are just going to pollute the comments. Just going to go in. They, they they believe what they've been told, and that's all that they're going to believe. And and you, they can think of nothing else. Um, and unfortunately, I think there's a decent amount in pop culture, in um, in comics, and these other areas that are that are like that, where it's just you know, we've made it the, the population, and I blame Twitter for a lot of it, has made it just impossible to have a reasonable conversation about any of it, uh, and it it, it sucks. Uh, it's it's you know I I don't know it's it doesn't serve anyone. 
So, uh, so anyway, those. Are, but, but generally speaking, I talk about what I want, and um, that's that's it. Every now and then, I get somebody in here like, "Hey, you need to be talking about you know this or that. You know this thing over here. You know, don't you know that uh, a lot of people want to hear about kind of that? Uh, you know, they whatever. Just just generally some topics. So I get lots of like, "Why aren't you doing this? Or why aren't you doing that? And if you really cared about your audience, you do this or that or all of it." It's like, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say about any of that. Uh, now, your second part of your question, though, is maybe the more intriguing and, the, and maybe the one where I, I lift, you know, lifting the curtain a little bit. Um, it is pretty common that people tell me what I'm not supposed to talk about. In addition to giving advice like, hey, you need to talk about, you know, I, I get lots of people who are like, you need to cover like Vida Ayala once a week because that's how people, that's, that's how you get attention. That's how you get hits. You know, you need to kind of do this. And they'll often point to somebody else's show. Did, did you know that like, or Nertronic, or this show, this show, or that show, or whatever. It's like if you realize they're they're a much more popular show than yours is. I'm like, the problem is you're using the wrong argument for me. I I don't care about the subscriber number or the popularity. If I did, I would edit my videos. I'd use better audio. I mean, all those things. I would start to you know actually put real work into it. So if you come at me going. Hey, you know, you need to do streams and you need to turn on super chats and you need to talk about culture war and you need to talk about whatever, you know, Mark Wade is up to. Uh, you got to do that or, you know, you're going to lose. You're going to somebody, I, somebody wrote me the other week going, you're going to lose to Wes at thinking critical. You're going to lose. And, uh, you know, and, and it, it, that, that's not the game I'm playing. I'm, I'm kind of concerned if, if other people are playing that game. Is that how some of these other channels operate? Um, I got another one, like, you need to be covering the Amber Heard trial. Did you see that uh, uh, Nerdette's uh, subscriber count spiked? You were, you were way over her. I'm, I'm, I don't know if that's true, by the way, but it's like you were, you were way over her, and then suddenly she passed you, and, and you gotta, you got to catch up. you got to talk about Amber Heard. It's like, ugh, I, no thanks. <laughs> I don't, other people could do it. I'm not, I'm not saying it, that uh, you're wrong if you cover Amber Heard. But I'm saying I'm not going to cover Amber Heard. <laughs> I don't give a shit about Amber Heard. Full stop. Anyway, but uh, those those are not good arguments to make. But absolutely, and and it, it's you know it's been described as kind of the night letter, the uh, the subtle warning, the you're going to get drug if you talk about this. Um, and I definitely get the you need to keep these people's names out of your mouth. Um, and and I'll I'll say for uh, like a year ago. Ethan Van Skyver, man, I, as people who are fans of Ethan would send, I, I would say, multiple times a week going, you need to keep Ethan's name out of your mouth. You don't deserve to talk about Ethan. You can't talk, like, if you talk about him, like, I'm going to drag your chair. Like, just, just the weirdest threats. Um, I wound up talking about what I wanted to anyway, but it did, the whole thing felt gross and, and strange. And, I, I mean, who... Like, are, are these, the and, and to be clear, because I don't want anybody to misinterpret, these mails weren't coming from Ethan. They were coming from fans of Ethan. I, or maybe it was a super deep op where there was somebody who's not, you know, hates Ethan, but did, like doing a reverse psychology. I, I, don't, I don't know. But it's always these fans who are doing this. It's the same kind of, I, I, I would get one guy, and every single time I posted a video, he would post a comment uh, promoting Cyberfrog every single video. And it's like, sir, we're, we're talking about, uh, you know, nudity and comics in the eighties. Like what, what, what is even the connection here to the, to your point? I, and again, you're welcome to do whatever you want, but it, 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 it got weird, right? It, <laughs> anything that's obsessive in any way gets weird. Um, you know, I go back again, this also seemed to disappear about the same time, meaning this was going on a lot a year ago. Maybe people just finally decided that I'm not going to listen to anything anybody says anyway, so stop bothering. But uh, Mark Wade was the other one. People, and Al Ewing. In fact, more Al Ewing. I would get people saying, uh, you don't get to talk about Al Ewing on your channel. You haven't earned that right. And I was like, what are, you even, what are you talking about? Like, it was such a weird, such a weird way to uh, make a request for anything. And uh, just, just very, very strange. Um, Al Ewing, to this day... Uh, if I mention him in anything, and there will be some in this this video as well. If I mention the guy in anything but a uh, you know a flattering light, then uh, people will will 
absolutely uh, start to complain about it. And it's, uh, it's nuts. Anyway, don't get it. Um, absolutely don't, don't understand and don't get why people do this kind of stuff. Um, but, uh, but anyway, so that's the general, uh, approach. Um, now these days it's a little bit different. I've definitely gotten some mails about Eric Ripa, uh, uh, or sorry, <laughs> the Ripa verse Eric July. See, I'm mixing it all up in my head. Um, there's another one of like, you don't get to say negative things about him. And it's always, the mails are always weird. You don't get to. Um, I've had people certainly mail me for Comics Gate as well, like, uh, you know, keep Comics Gate. It's always this, it feels like somebody thinks they're a, uh, you know, a, a rap artist from 2011. Because it's all, it's the same, like, you keep that person's name out of your mouth. It's like, sir, fuck off. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for the I, I don't, I would love for somebody who maybe has done this before. And I, like, like I, so I'm asking this audience, um, have you ever written one of these mails? And did you realize later that you sounded like a lunatic? And then you're like, why am I doing this? You know, these are all grown adults. They, they can probably take care of themselves. Why am I doing this? Um, if that's you, if that's been you, uh, please, uh, in the comments, uh, you know, go anonymous. I don't, you don't want to make it embarrassing for you or, or reach out. And write me a letter. I'd love to know what's going through your mind. Like, what was, what was the plan there? Like, is your plan that you are such a super fan, which is which you see, right? So, for example, um, some uh, you know, completely unrelated to comics, some music journalist uh, wrote like, why are there twenty four writers credited for this song? And people worked out that, that you know she was talking about a Beyonce song. And all the Beyonce fans just shit on, shit on her immediately. Like you, you must be, you stop writing. You keep Beyonce's name out of your mouth. All this kind of stuff. Just, just really angry. What's weird about it is Twitter was almost like supporting. It's like, yeah, the, what is it? The Beyonce fans or the beehive? Is that, I think they're like, they let her know what is what. Like it was a, a proud moment. But I think if you're out there telling somebody what they can and can't say, it's not a proud moment. You sound like a complete buffoon. I'm sorry. So I, I don't get, uh, I don't, I don't get it. Um, <laughs> I thoroughly do not get why that kind of stuff goes on. And, and I don't know if you've listened to the show for any length of time, uh, I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of all fairness, but I do try and look at things one way or another, uh, you know, in, in as even handed a way as I can still trying to get my opinion in the mix. Not the easiest line to cross, but, uh, if you're, if you believe that the pert show, is going is is creating hugely biased kind of slanted stuff. If that's if that's your perspective, then my experience is you're either an absolute you know loon on the left, like some of the of the Xavier Files crowd, who believe that this this show this channel is the most dangerous toxic thing in the entire world. Uh, because I've said I don't like the current X Men stuff. It's like this is a hate channel. They've, they've said that before. I hate that. They're one of the people who go further. It's not just a comic skate adjacent channel or a comic skate channel. It's a comic skate on steroids channel is what they like. And if that's what, if that's what you take away from listening to this, I, I don't know what to tell you. Increase your meds. It's weird. But the people who always bitch, it's that crowd. And then it's the super opposite version of that crowd. It's the, you know, I, I go to every single, you know, live stream from the quartering and I have been to all of them and I have personally donated $20,000 in super chats over the years. And you are by far somebody who should be eliminated from this planet. <laughs> it's like, wow. Wow. Anyway, um, it is, it is nuts. I, the only thing I can come away from that is there's a certain brand of people and it really doesn't matter what their politics are, who they follow, any of that kind of stuff. There's a certain brand of people that can only accept one outcome, and that is absolute, 100% full-throated, and that's the right way to describe it, agreement, and con con you know conform. You have to 100% conform to what is being said, whether it's, uh, you know, the X-Men is the best it's ever been, or DC is going to close up shop in, in a couple months, whatever it happens to be, you have to conform. If you conform, it's fine. And in fact, in many cases, I think these people 
they know what to do with conformity. They know what to do with arguments. They do not know what to do with people who take a, you know come in and go. Well, let's let's talk about if that's legit or not. They like logic is the the enemy. It's a kryptonite. But anyway, I get I get lots of those. I'll, I'll you know to this day I I had a male come in just last night, uh, telling me that uh, you know could not talk about um, this other channel. I had somebody reach out to me on uh, Twitter. You know, basically, it, it's this, it's this goofy stir up trouble shit. It's like, hey, some people are attacking this other channel over here. But what do you think about that? Do you think it's fair that this channel gets attacked? And it's like, God, you know, drink, drink, be like me, kill your liver, you'll be happier. Anyway, there you go. Thanks for the mail. Thanks for the uh, ability to kind of rant a little bit on this stuff. Uh, it did this. It. <laughs> It eats me up over time. Not not in a, like a really toxic way, but in a, like, God, why are people so dumb way? So it, it helps to vent that out a little bit. Anyway, thanks for listening.